Today I want to talk about some algebra basics, especially on these two situations, because so many students are still getting this wrong. First, we have x, y in the parentheses, and then raised to the second power. And the second one is we have x plus y instead, and then still raised to the second power. Well, for the first one, if you just distribute the exponent and say the answer is x squared times y squared, this is actually correct. However, if you try to do the same thing for the second one, just distribute the exponent and say the answer is x squared plus y squared, this right here unfortunately is false. When we say false, meaning it's not always true. Because this is still true if you say x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, but this is not an identity. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, I would like to explain why these are the way they are. So, well, what does this why? Number one, if you look at x, y, and then square, firstly, what does the square mean? It means that you just put down the inside twice and then multiply them out, right? So I'm just going to write it. We have the parentheses. The square is applied to both of them. So just put on the parentheses. And then you have x, y, and then x, y. Parentheses means to multiply. So is this, right? This is x times y, and then this is x times y. So you can write this as x, y, x, y. Sounds like biology, like the x, y. But anyways, no. And if you want to emphasize that, it's like x times y times x times y. You can put dots in between. Now, x times x, that does give us x squared. And then if you look at y times y, it does give us y squared, right? y to the second power. And then we're done. This is very, very true. Now, if you try to do the same thing for the second one, x plus y and then square. Again, the square means that we write down the inside twice and then we have to multiply them. So still parentheses, and then inside here is x plus y, and then x plus y. And let me work this out with just algebra for you guys. When you have two terms times two terms, you will have to figure this out. And why though? Well, once we see the geometry later on, it will be super clear. But for now, let's just do the usual procedure. x times x, we get x to the second power. And this is known as x squared, as we mentioned earlier. And you will see why this is called x squared later on. Continue. Take this x times this y. That's just x, y. Next, we are done with the x, so we do y times x, which is the same as x times y. So you write that down again. Lastly, y times y, that's y squared. So as you can see, we still have x squared plus y squared, just like that. But this is wrong because it's missing out the middle term right here. And in fact, we have two of them, right? And they are the same thing. So we can combine like terms. So together, this is x squared plus 2xy and then plus y squared. And we're done. That's the answer. And that's the identity for this right here. Now, let's take a look at the geometry. x plus y times x plus y. The x, we can look at it as a segment like this. Let's say this is x. And then, not just x though, we have to add y to it. So I'm just going to extend it a little bit. Let's say this is plus y. Now, I'm actually going to duplicate the x right here. Like this. This is x. And likewise, I still have to add y to it. So plus y. Right here, right now, we can actually complete the square. You will see. I'm going to finish it like this. This side is x plus y, so is this. And in fact, this is x, that's x. I can draw the square right here. Now, what's the area of this square? It's just x times x, and that's x to a second power, namely x squared. Aha. Uh -huh. And then if you finish, just like finish the cuts like this, you know, extend it, extend it. This much right here, it's a square because this right here is y. That right here is also y, so the area is y squared. Now we see that we have these two missing parts. We haven't figured it out yet. What's this area? We take this side, which is x, times this side, which is y. So that's x, y. 
and then do the same thing for this. This right here is x times y, so that's xy. So if you want to finish the red, so now, and finally, we just have to add all the small pieces. We have x squared, and then xy plus xy is 2xy. And lastly, we have y squared. And I've finished the geometry reason of why x plus y squared is equal to this expression. That's it.